Okay. Uh, so you have you have something to play around with, uh, and uh, I hope that uh, you will install some of these uh, some of these uh, tools uh, before we start. Uh, uh, doing the demo part and uh, uh, just some final thoughts on how <clears throat> how things can go wrong you know so uh, first of all remember that uh, automation always comes with some costs okay so there is a lot of legacy uh, software there uh, left behind the firewall and the uh, the network guys think that's okay but here comes a pen tester who has access to the network and has some authorizations and he's uh, starting to scan everything around him and the more noise he generates the more checks he does the more our chances that something goes wrong for example if it's really old it's legacy it's buggy uh, cases uh, from my experience show that even sending a couple of packets to the service can result in complete uh, operating system reboot okay so really take good care about uh, knowing that what you are doing okay so if it's if it's really old first know it's old you know first know it's up first know what operating system is out there and then start to dig deeper okay so do all these things uh, in a sequential order and you will avoid a lot of uh, unpleasant situations uh, okay then uh, on the modes of operation uh, and uh, the implications that uh, different network uh, modes could uh, result in okay so uh, there are cases when we uh, do pen testing over the VPN that can be when we for example are allowed to access the client's network from a specific IP address and it's our office IP address but we are working from home uh, and so on yeah <clears throat> so we connect to our office and then are presented to our client's external scope as uh, as if we are working from the office uh, everything is okay when it's uh, when it's still on the third level okay so uh, there will be additional latency, but most of the tools will uh, will take notion of that, and uh, it will not uh, interfere with the, uh, with the results. But uh, yeah, as long as quality of the results is okay, still there is this quality uh, of experience. Yeah, so it will be really long. It will be longer than if you are connected directly to the internet. Yeah, remember that. Uh, the second case is using VPNs to access the scope itself. Okay, so if you have an internal penetration test, but you are not uh, willing or not able to uh, locate closer to the scope, you will have a VPN uh, link provided by the client. Remember that in this situation, you will have, you most probably will have. Uh, to deploy some physical stuff there anyway so you will have to install a physical machine move all your tools there because working over VPN only will uh, will not allow you access uh, network layers below uh, below third layer okay so layers layer 3 it will be acceptable it will be accessible by you you will see the hosts by ip addresses you will see all the tcp and UDP stuff but uh, the ethernet segments the arp functionality and all these things that are really important will be uh will be masked from you by vpn so you will have to connect to something on the client side that has internet uh, interface and then uh, from there just connecting by i don't know ssh or rdp uh do your job uh such in a such manner that um as if you are locally present okay so do not just rely on vpn connection uh what about tor and http proxies while working uh with different clients sometimes they just uh, yeah naturally if you have a permission if you have engagement letter there is no way to mask uh, this hard yeah uh, to go through Tor and HTTP proxies because all this results in 
tremendous decrease of speed yeah so it's it's really really slow to scan something web related through tour and uh, uh, it's even slower when you are doing something not web related like just TCP scanning or just uh, some other things okay so yeah that's not good thing to, to do uh, and you have to avoid that but sometimes clients just insist on that they want you to do the job uh, in a manner uh, such as uh, if uh, bad guys would do it okay so just test out their controls monitoring systems and so on they want you to go through this path yeah this results in pricing but uh, be prepared to uh, really uh, to waiting a lot okay and to uh, many scanning and uh, enumerating tools uh, failing uh, dramatically because they are not just designed to work through HTTP or SOX proxies. Uh, what about firewall evasion techniques you could use? So there is a whole different topic of evading different security controls but for now uh, before the demo we will, you will have to understand that uh, not many tools uh, have this functionality in the first place and in a situation when they have that functionality, it is not uh, effective in uh, most cases. Yeah, so firewalls uh, do a really good job in identifying and preventing different uh, illegitimate network uh, activities. So what you can do to effectively avoid that inter uh, intervention, yeah, you have to act as normal. <laughs> okay, so uh, sometimes you have to uh, just drop your intensity rate uh, to the one that is uh, like that is similar to what a normal users would do. So, or you can spread uh, this activity throughout different um, source IP addresses, right? You can just uh, go through them fairly, yeah, and truly. Or you can spoof them, yeah. So there are ways to spoof source uh, address, for example, in Nmap and other tools. Or uh, use specific interfaces uh, in order in order to generate this uh, impression that uh, the traffic is coming is coming from different sources. Uh, there are some tricky ways, for example, playing around with fragmentation parameters and. Uh, just uh, like uh, smuggling the packets through the firewalls uh, and uh, there are whole different uh, whole lot of different ways to uh, attempt evading firewall attention attention however yeah let's have just uh, a piece of uh, demo dedicated to that and for now you will have to understand that once you encounter a firewall on the network there are ways to attempt to avoid its uh, attention uh, however, their efficacy is really questionable. Okay, so just to give you some direction on how to know more on all this, please follow uh, this first link, uh, even if you don't uh, check anything else. Yeah, so security tools uh, is maintained by the same team that is developing Nmap. So there is this rating. It is updated uh, year after year about what tools are actual, uh, what security professionals really use and uh, what's their impression about that. There is this <coughs> one, one of these awesome uh, compilations on GitHub pertaining to penetration testing, yeah. And uh, the section on network tools uh, is, is relevant to what we have discussed in this video. And uh, to read more, you of course have this Nmap book that Fyodor has uh, written himself, the author of Nmap. Uh, and it's really interesting just uh, to understand, to have deep understanding, really. Uh, that's, that, that, that's, that's what you have to do if you really want to know how things work. Yeah, so if you want to build a tool around Nmap, for example, or if you want to using the map as the basis for your own project, you will have to do that anyway. Just reading through sources uh, is okay too, but uh, this will give you a tremendous amount of information. 
really handy thing this uh, sends uh, and map cheat sheet yeah so you can print it out uh, it's a PDF and uh, just uh, uh, hang it on on the wall. I, I had some period of uh, time in my career that I had that on my wall uh, and uh, These two are uh, Yeah, this is another cheat sheet uh, which is which is just a longer version of, of the sense one it has more than uh, only nmap in it and uh, the last one is uh, what uh, and map options allow you evade the uh, IDS or firewall attention. So this pretty much uh, wraps up what we had on uh, scanning and numeration and fingerprinting. This was uh, a long road and I think now we are armed uh, with all this knowledge to proceed with the demos and the practical examples of how these things can be and should be used in a penetration test. See you around guys.